The federal high court sitting in Ienagua has restrained a betting firm, 86 Football Technology Limited, and its payment gateway providers, Flutterwave Technology Solutions Limited, Paystack Payment Limited, Monify Financial Investment Limited, and Interswitch Limited from tampering with investors' funds. First Bank, Keystone Bank, and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission are also cited as respondents in the suit filed by one Adedoyin and three others. Oviete George reports. A 45-paragraph application seeking, among other reliefs, an order restraining First Bank. Keystone Bank, Flutterwave, and three other paypoint companies from withdrawing or disbursing funds in the name of 86 Football Technology Limited, allegedly being operated by a Nigerian and two Chinese nationals. There were no legal representation in court for the eight respondents and Justice Issa Dashin granted all prayers by the plaintiffs expressing conviction in the merits of their application. Many investors, including our clients, deposited monies and it turned out to be a fraudulent business scheme. It's over one billion naira. With the, the, with the defendants. So what we want the court to do is to temporarily stop the defendants from in any, in any way interfering with the monies. And thereafter, we'll be asking the court for an order to compel the eight defendants to investigate the defendants' respondents. The Central Bank and Corporate Affairs Commission should be on their lookout to ensure that those whom they have issued licenses to operate are operating within the limits permitted by law because it will be most unfair for somebody to use CBN license and then be involved in uh, fraudulent activities. Again, it will be unfair for the Corporate Affairs Commission to duly register a company and then that company turns out to be a sham or the company is used as an engine of fraud. Nigerians who invested funds in the sports betting company were expecting a 3% profit on initial investment before the scheme collapsed after only eight months in operation. Hearing on the case has been fixed for the 19th of July. Ofieteme George, Arise News.